Hey there guys, Quirk and Josh here from MiniWarGaming.com to give you another War Machine Battle Report. We're going to be playing 50 points today. I'm bringing Menoth, because that's awesome, and Josh is bringing something we don't really care about. He's bringing Kador. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a little bit excited. Yeah, you're getting... The last game you played, you actually did pretty good with them, so... I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was anything skill related. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, we're going to be playing 50 points. We haven't determined a scenario yet. We're going to roll for it like we always do. But guys, if you're interested in coming in and playing anybody here, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. Or you can email us, support at miniwargaming.com. We'll get you in here. We'll get you rolling some dice. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out these armies. Starting off with my 50 points of Kador. Let's see if I can remember the name of everything. I have two units of Doom Reavers with their escorts. I have the Manowar Dracoon Fenris. Juggernaut, Decimator, and then the Butcher. And that is my 50 points of Kador. Next up we have my 50 points of Menoth being led by the Harbinger of Menoth. And with her she has the Avatar and a little Flamer Jack whose name starts with an R. Repenter? That's the one, thank you. I always forget his name. Then I have a Hero Fint, I have a Vassal, I have a Min Squad of Choir. I've got my Cinerators right there, and then lastly I have my Errants, and that will be my 50 points of Menoth. This is the board we're going to be playing on. Again, trying not to go too train heavy, but a little bit more than you might normally see on a War Machine board. I kind of dig it. It's all forested. Got to roll off now to see what game type we're playing. 2d6, and we get an 8. 8 is Close Quarters. This sounds very familiar. So what we put down is two flags, and it's basically just the first person to command or control enough to get to four points wins. No special rules aside from that. First player has a seven inch deployment, second player has a 10 inch deployment, and scoring starts on the second player's second turn. And yeah, it looks like the only way you can score a point is by controlling it for one point. Gotta roll off to see who gets to deploy first. Is that a one or a six on your dice? That's a six. I don't know if I believe you. That's a six. Darn! I'm gonna go first. Actually, no. I'm gonna let you go first. I wanna pick sides. And here we are. Deployment is done. So looking at my board really quickly, we've got Harbinger in the middle, my Incinerators to her left, Avatar to her right, right next to the Repenter. Nope. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do this yeah. all game. He's the... Yeah, Repenter. I had that right. Oh. Okay. Should have bleeds in yourself, Quirk. I should have. Then we've got the the book, choir right behind him. I've got my hero fit right here, vassal right there, and then advanced deployed the errants. On the other side of the board, we've got your Doom Reavers with the Grey Lord right behind them. We've got Fenris on his horse. We've got your Juggernaut. We've got your Destroyer. Decimator. We've, decimator. Is it a Decimator? Yes. Oh, okay. We're decimator. Fair enough. Uh, we've got Butcher right there. Then we have your Dragoon and another unit of Doom Reavers with a Grey Lord. So here we go into Kador, turn one. So starting off, already done the power up phase, so both your heavies have focus on them. Who's gonna go first? Um, this is a very tactical turn for Kador. You know, a lot of consideration, I'm gonna run at you with everything. Everything's uh, right. Both the jacks are gonna run, so let's just get them out of the way. Okay. So going up oh, eight, because your speed four. Same thing here. Doom Reavers running 12. Flying up the board here. Did you remember to do your terror checks? Not a thing anymore. Not even know. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> and, and no? And the other unit of Doom Reavers. Same sort of idea. Yep. Do you know the lore behind a Doom Reaver? I believe these are actually Orgoth weapons that they chained convicts to. Yep. Then your Dragoon? My Dragoon is going to run... Uh, he's going to put himself right there. Okay. He's got more than enough speed to do that. Yep. And Fenris? He's going to run himself over this way. Sounds good. Butcher will advance. Spend two to put Iron Flesh onto those Doom Reavers. And what does Iron Flesh do? It is giving them something that I can't remember. It is plus two armor and does not suffer blast damage. Very nice. And that'll be the end of Kator's turn one. What, don't you have Fury? 
Okay, so yeah, I was back and forth on whether it's worth putting Fury up. Your front line, I don't think I need Fury on anything to deal with them, so I'm gonna hold off for now so I can kind of decide where I want it to go next turn. Okay. Start of my turn, got my power up phase, so you're gonna get a free focus. You get to roll D3 plus one. So you're getting three focus. Look at that. I like that. That's a nice mechanic. I'm gonna hate that later. Yeah. Gonna start off with these guys right here. They're going to advance up there five. So right there. Whoop, right there. And this guy is just gonna start getting closer to the objective because I want to be able to hold that. But I also want to spread out a little bit because I know you got blast. And your blast is scurry. With the obliteration? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna have this guy take a shot at that guy right there, looking for a seven to hit. How did you do that? Because I can. That hits! <gasps> Happy days, what's your armor? It right now is, oh yeah, they don't have the buff on them, it's 14. Okay, so a five for a tough check. That's a tough check. Show me a five or six. No, it's two. Oh, Is this guy? Yep. And I'd like to take a shot at him, but I can't draw a line of sight through these bushes, so, yeah. Incinerators are gonna run. Speed four, so they're going eight. So fast. Oh, I know. They'll lick your jacks. Oh. Yeah, I can take shots too, bud. Harbinger's gonna go next. And she is a wonderful speed six. So we're just gonna go straight ahead. Right here. That's, that's a comfy spot. Yeah, I'm gonna check my control range really quick. Don't do, do it. You. Don't do it. Oh, it's so tempting to pop my feet, but the thing is, I think it only has to fly to like a 10 inch range. Yeah, it's only 10, not 20. Oh. I got all excited. But yeah, she's going to advance right there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Avatar is going to go next and run. So I'm going to get rid of all this because he's just not going to use any of it. But going to run and tuck in right here. So. And then this little guy right here is also going to run. He's going six. And four to right here. Choir's gonna go next. They're moving up six. And they're gonna say no non magical ranged attacks at my jacks. Solid. Hero Fence's gonna run right there. Fast is gonna run to right there. Actually, he is speed six. No, he's speed five. Never mind. Uh, so back it up one. And he's going to do... No, there's no point to it. I was going to say he's going to do the thing that lets me move if I get hit, but there's no point in that. So yeah, he's going to run right behind Harbinger. And then the book is going to... Uh... Well, you don't really have any magic anyway, so it's just going to run right here. Butcher's going to go back up to full, and then I will upkeep... Iron Flush, and power up, power up. Allocation, um, I'm gonna throw one more focus onto my Decimator. Mm -hmm. And then, I might as well go for broke. Uh, we're gonna declare a charge with this unit of Doom Reavers. He will charge himself up to right there. Okay. Everybody else is just gonna have to run Fantastic right now. Probably, yeah. Uh, I can see why you'd want to save it. Because, I don't know, it's not going to be a good peace trade in my favor, I don't think. Got one attack going up against my Errant, and my Errant is defense 12. Okay, I'm looking for. Is it 12? Yep. Show me a 5. Nailed it. And charging Weapon Master, 4 dice damage. Yeah, I think I got him. Yeah. And sack bond. Unit over here is going to go ahead and declare a charge. Again, I'm not going to get that many guys, but I might as well get up the board. So he'll make a charge against him, and then everybody else is going to run to keep up. And for that five again. Ah! Ah nice. All right. He lives. Over here, Juggernaut going to run. 
Next up, we're gonna have this jack, my decimator advance. I'm gonna be kind of careful with how I do it though, because I don't want to give you that target to blow my dudes up. So he's gonna just advance to probably right about there. I'll check. I've got two shots I can take. I can try taking shots at some of your um, errands, but they're all engaged. I didn't get good range on anything else, I don't think. Except for maybe, yeah, I got no targets worth. I'm not gonna bother, I need 12s to hit. Okay. My Dracoon is gonna just run himself to over there. Fenris, not sure with what he wants to do, is just gonna move himself up just a titch. But you don't know what he wanna do, so I think I'm just gonna run. Where do I wanna put him? Let's see right here. Starting off, going into the power-up phase, so one for you and D3 for the avatar, getting three, again. Nice, right there. Starting off, my scenario is gonna get a run slash charge order. So this guy right here is going to charge your juggernaut to right here. And the rest are just gonna run their eight. So here and here, right there, and then coming up right behind. The one charge attack hitting on a three, that's gonna hit. And charging weapon master, so dice minus eight here. Solid hit. That's a 10 to your three, sir. So uh, that was actually 12 to your three, and you're now on fire. Gonna have the choir go next, and they're gonna put battle on both of these jacks, giving them plus two to their damage rolls. Then my errants are gonna activate. They're all gonna move around a little bit to get into a better position. So he's gonna move to there. He's already engaged by three of them, so it doesn't really matter where he moves. So he's going up here. And this guy's gonna move to right there. This one's engaged by both, so he's gonna go right up like that. This one's gonna come up here. Uh, just double check the distance. Yep, he's gonna come right up here and get within the half inch. He is going to come right around to here, staying in this one's front arc. And this guy's gonna come right up here. Which leaves me quite a few just hanging around, so right there. And on the objective. So starting off right here, looking for a six to hit. Are we gonna call that? Yeah, one? sure, that hits. All right. And POW 9 Weapon Master. And I am armor 14. So I need a 6. That is a tough check. Show me that sweet 5 or 6. No, no, you did. I'll grab. Thank you, sir. Next one swinging right here. I'm going to move this just out of the way for a minute so that we can see these dice rolls. So looking for that 6. No. Then right here. There we go. A little correction. These guys have the iron flush up, so it's... Uh... Armor 16, so I need yes. uh, eights. Like that. So that's a tough check. Tough check. I'm so good at these. Got this guy going on your non iron flesh. That's gonna hit. Now I need a six. No, your armor 15, right? So I need a six. 14. 14. Oh, I need a six then. Got it. Tough check. Oh. We got this guy here. You miss. Nope. Apparently I can't. Hmm. And yeah, that's a tough check. Statistically, I eventually have to make one. And the last one here. That's gonna miss. Woohoo! Next up, my hero fit's gonna go and put Harmonious Exaltation on Harbinger, reducing the cost of her next spell. And then Harbinger is going to go, and she's going to just scooch up to right here, because she's feeling saucy. And I'm going to spend three to do a Cataclysm. And I'm going to do it right there, so... Targeting I, your own model to get around the spell ward. Yep, so I'm currently engaged, so my defense goes up to 16, but I'm in the back arc, so it's 14, so I need a four to hit. This doesn't auto hit anymore? No. Looking for a four to hit. Got it. So that's POW 18 against him. So he's just dead. And I'm going to self-sack this guy instead. 
And then it's a POW 9 against this guy. Okay. So he's armor... Uh, this white face guy, he's just armor 14. Okay, so looking for a 6. Got it. That's a tough check. Roll your weighted dice. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Yeah, but as well as the rest of them. Bloop. And then going on this guy, I need a... 8. So it was a 6 the first time. Yep. Looking for an 8. I'm going to boost this one. Because I can. Got it. Ah! Oh! Ah! I made one! Yeah, you're knocked down. So as I'm sure people have pointed out by now, I shouldn't have been able to put Iron Flesh on them. Dang. Luckily enough, I, you murdered everything you hit anyways by a pretty fair margin. I don't think there was any time you didn't exceed my armor, so... I'm just gonna take that spell away from you. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I'm not letting you... Next up, I'm gonna activate my little Jack here, who's gonna move right there. He could not. I'm going to, though. I'm allergic to fire. I bet you are. Cause here comes a flame template. Going like this, going after the Grey Lord, so I'm gonna catch all three here. Starting off with this guy, and I'm gonna boost the attack on him, cause I, I need him to die. Looking for an 8 to hit. Got it. And this is POW 10, I believe. Uh, POW 12. And you're on fire. Nice. So looking for that... Not double ones? Yeah. Got it. You're on fire. Take a tough check. Tough check! Nope. Joke's on you. Not on fire if I'm dead. That's true. But now you're not close enough to test the objective. Yeah. Then on this guy... Yeah, it's gonna hit. Yeah. Uh huh. Oop. That's uh, gonna tough check you. Take that. You're so good at that. I know. I should play trolls. And the Great Lord. That uh, hits. Even with the four. Whoop! Come here, you. Yeah, that hits. And I think he dead. Dead. Then the vassal's gonna move on up, like so. Oop, focus in the way. Like so. And ancillary attack, so I get to fire again with my light jack. Never mind, going to do an enliven on him. Now, why are you gonna do the enliven instead of the ancillary attack? Because I thought it was the vassals that do the ancillary attack, and it's not. Oh. No bueno. And the avatar is gonna run. I'm just going to take all the focus off him because he's not going to use it anyway. But right over to here. Lastly, the book's going to come right up here and say no knockdown. And at the end of this turn, both of us will score one point. So the current score is 1-1 one, one as we go into Kador turn three. Check and see if fire goes out on the Juggernaut. No. Dice minus eight. That does one to your six. Try to be a little bit, uh, shall we say, janky. We're gonna put two focus over there, and he will camp the rest for himself. Over to the jack. Um, I do have range on Harbinger, so I'm going to stand still, get the aiming bonus, go to rat six. Yep. And I'm gonna boost to hit with the first attack. All right, and you're looking for an eight to hit. And you got it with a 10. Boost damage. Alright, so this is dice plus one for damage. Ugh, that's gross. I'm gonna negate five of that and take ten damage. That hurt. Rate of fire two. I'm gonna boost the second shot at you. Okay, we're gonna that eight again. And you got it. Then dice plus one for damage. That's gonna do five. I'm gonna negate it. Yep. Over here, Fenris will declare a charge against that Duder, uh, Cinerator. Mm -hmm. Show me three to hit. Nice. Ah. Got it on the dot. And you're a charging weapon master? Yes, sir. POW 12. Dice minus five. I don't know why I'm giving you a call. Let's gonna do five and kill him. Then a Berserk attack into the other guy there, looking for that three, getting it, and again dice minus five, 
that's again killing him. End of his uh, activation now, he will reposition. Uh, let's just put him up here. Juggernaut will advance himself to there. Aim for a four. I'm gonna punch the incinerator up front. Got it. Power train 15. Nice minus two. Hmm, yep. That's leaving him with one box. Go ice axe against this one here. Okay, waiting for that four. Got it. Pow. 19. Nice plus two. Yeah, he did. Go ahead, buy an axe attack against the one that I haven't hit yet. Okay, going for a four. Got it. Dice plus two. Kill him. Field promotion. He did. And you get a field promotion. Ta da! Dracoon will go and he will charge to here. Mm -hmm. Looking for a three. I'm getting it. He's charging weapon master, power 14. Okay, dice minus three. He dead. <laughs> then I will go for a reposition back there. Doom Reavers will just uh, advance. Hmm. Great Lord going to target Harbinger? Yeah, let's target Harbinger. All right, we are magic ability is seven. Looking for a seven to hit. Getting it, and this is pow. I didn't expect to hit. Uh, pow twelve. Dice minus two. And I will spend five to negate that. Or sorry, spend one to negate that five. Doom Reaver swinging. Yeah, guy in the end swinging to the one in front. Okay. Uh, needing what was it? Five to hit. Yep. Got it. Weapon Master, Power Strength 12. Yep, I'm gonna let him die. Next one, forfeiting movement to stand up, I'm assuming. Uh, no, they've got Rise from oh, the right. Great Lord Escort. That's true. Should have shown that, but yeah, um, it is granted. Okay. So looking for that five. No, oh, got it. Yep. Yeah, he did. Look at that roll. Amazing. Next one? Yep. Yep. And. Oh yeah, this one I'm going to sack one. Oh no, Berserk, and the next one. I forgot about the other Berserks, because I'm used to you sack pawning. Um, so yeah, the last one in line will swing against, I don't know, him. Okay. He looks like a jerk. Hits. Got it. Sack pawn this guy. Butcher will move himself up to there. Mm-hmm. And, uh... He'll boost a blunderbuss shot at uh, Harbinger. Okay. Looking for a nine to hit. <sighs> come on, big guy. Oh, oh come on! It's an eight. <laughs> yeah, spend two to throw Iron Flesh on himself. I think you got me, but who knows? You could roll terribly or something. That's true, I could. All right, so we're at two points now each. I'm trying to think, is there a way I can either kill your caster or get that guy off the objective so I can take it. Pretty sure the answer is no to both of those. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get my focus back. <laughs> you could not take it back. Uh, Puts me back up to... 8. 10. And D3 plus 1 for... 2 for you. The avatar. And then 1 for my... Ta-da! My vassal's just gonna move over here and empower the avatar, giving him an extra focus. And the avatar is gonna charge to here. Oh! I'm glad you're not. Yeah, go up here, Juggernaut. Not snake eyes to hit. That hits. Whew! That was close. And Burning Wrath will be dice minus one. That's gonna do 10 to your six. Burns! Then the shield hits. It's gonna be dice minus six. Nothing. But by an attack with Burning Wrath, hits. Dice minus one. Does seven to your six. By my last attack, hits. 
Dice minus one. He dead. Oh, he dead. Boop. And flame burst puts Fenris on fire. Good, he loves to be on fire. No, he doesn't. Next, the choir's just going to move up and put battle on him. Give him a plus two. Then here, move it over. Harmonious Exaltation on Harbinger so that the next spell she casts costs one less. And I'm going to activate the book and making it so that all these guys have the continuous fire effect when they hit something. Nice. Because I can. Um, this one right here is going to stand still, get an aiming bonus. This guy, I'm going to check my 10 inch range. I don't think I have the range on it. Oh, I do. He's going to stand still to get an aiming bonus. Because I'm going to shoot at your butcher. You could not. But I want to. And then both of these guys are going to swing at that one. Okay. So starting right here, swinging, looking for a six. Got it. You're on fire at least. And you don't have iron flesh up, so looking for a six again. Got it. Tough check. Be tough, fireman. No, he doesn't like being on fire. Then this guy's gonna swing here. Miss. So aiming bonus puts them up to rat eight. So the first guy here firing into butcher, looking for a six. No. Uh oh. Second guy. There's the hit. So you're on fire. And this is pow ten, I believe. Yeah, pow ten. So he's effectively twenty with. Oh. I ignore that. Ooh, you get uh. Blessed. Nice. So this is dice minus again dice minus eight. Nothing, but you're on fire. Going over to this guy right here. He's going to forfeit his movement to get an aiming bonus. And I'm gonna fire aiming at the Grey Lord. So I'm gonna catch the Grey Lord, one of your guys, both of my guys, and Butcher. Okay. So starting off my own guys here, see if this hits. Oh, it does. This may have been a bad decision. Cause, yeah. So forfeiting my to get an which we got 17, so that was definitely a hit. And this is power 12, he's dead. And my other one, he's, yeah, he dead. Doom Reaver, here we go. Hits, and tough check. Gray Lord, hits. Uh, he's fine, but he's on fire. Correction, I forgot that I had the battle on here, so he took three damage. And Butcher's defense is 14. Yep. So I'm looking for a seven. Got it. And I'm gonna boost damage here. Cause you're up to power what? This is power 14. Okay, so dice off six. Yep. That's gonna do five damage. I might as well just bend the one now to negate that. Fair enough. Next up we have Harbinger, who... I'm actually going to have her charge Butcher. Yep. Because that seems like the right thing to do. So, two inch reach coming off of Butcher's base. We'll put her right there. And if I charge in a straight line like this... I will still be in the melee arc of everybody, so no free strikes. I've measured every which way, and yeah, there's no way for me to get the counter charge off against you. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Good. Great. I, I am going to get a free strike here. I have to go the full distance, because I only have a half inch reach. This might end terribly for me. Ooh, so you do get a free strike with the... Uh... Yeah, that Doom Reaver's going to get me. Hitting on seven, that's the back strike bonus, but then aw makes it two less to hit. Yep. Show me a seven. Oh, thank you. Dang. So, charging with Providence, power 12, automatically hitting. Of course you do. Dice, wait, your armor 20 or 21? Um, 20. 20, dice minus eight. Woohoo, look at me go. All right, in that case, I'm spending three and doing a cataclysm. So your defense? Uh, 14. Okay, looking for a 4 to hit. 
Got it. This is POW 20 against you. Okay, so it's just dice damage? Yeah, and I'm gonna boost it. Yeah, and the... Yeah, jerk. What'd he get? Woohoo! 16! It's been four. I'm gonna do that again. That was magical. Looking for a... Well, I'm not gonna get another chance at this, so four to hit. I'm gonna boost it. Yep. So, not triple ones. Whew, got it. And then boosting damage. Straight dice damage. I need at least four here. Got him! You have a tough check. Okay, little dice. Just be kind to me for once. And then I'm gonna look. Ha! Woohoo! Gotcha! Oh, you killed Butcher. So there you go, guys. That was our 50 point game of Kador versus Menoth. What do you think of Doom Reavers? Um, learning to use them properly would be cool. Yeah. You know what? I have hated Errants and I have hated Harbinger because they just, they're so lame. And Damn. if you're a Menoth player and you like them, I want to take this time just to make sure I'm very clear that I think you're kind of lame too. Um, yeah. I, I definitely, I don't know, they're kind of cool. I gotta learn how to use them properly. Mm -hmm. Forgetting a couple of Berserks. Eh, there's a couple little things there that I messed up on. Um, yeah, I hate Harbinger. She dumb. Yeah, I got, I got lucky. Yeah, actually that was a lot closer than I had assumed it was going to be. See, I used to play a lot of War Machine back in the Owen era, mm -hmm. and he just spammed Harbinger a lot. Yeah. I like to bring out Harbinger every now and then. I'm, I was all excited to pop her feet, and then I remembered right, it's not her control anymore. It's her command. Yep. So it cuts that range in half, which I should have. I still should have popped it when I was going to, because you threw all those Doom Reavers at me, and that would have been just auto tough checks as they come in, which you were failing like crazy. So. Yeah. I think I made what one. Yeah, you made. I made one, one tough check all game. Yeah, he's still there. He's right there. He's still good. He's got this. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh, if I got that lucky tough check at the end with Butcher, then, then that fire, just would have been game. The fire might have killed. Oh him. yeah, actually, yeah, fire. Well, yeah. it might have. Yeah. Well, there it is, folks. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. As always, if you haven't noticed any rules errors that we made that we didn't correct later on, like putting spells on things that have spell ward. Hey, hey, okay. Spoiler alert. Mr. We're playing with reinforcements and deploys his whole army. Yeah, shush. Forgot about that one. So, if you haven't noticed any rules errors that we made, please leave a comment in the section. Comment in the comment section below so that we can check it out, correct it for future battle reports. And also, guys, just leave your comments below and let us know what you're thinking of these War Machine games. If you're enjoying them, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, any matchups you'd like to see, we'll do what we can to get those on the board for you. Right now, we're just kind of playing with some new stuff and trying to re-educate ourselves with all the new cards and strats and stuff like that. Like, for example, Cinerators only have five boxes now. Eight. What? Cinerators only have five boxes, not eight. Yeah. That. Which, that was surprising to me. So. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy more game. Ball members! <laughs> Don't forget to click the link below to watch another War Machine Battle Report. It's gonna be Josh and I playing 75 points. I'm bringing Mercs. He's bringing Kador. It's gonna be awesome! I even went ahead and dusted them off for you guys. I'm bringing the donkey trucks. And Josh is going hardcore heavy over here. So guys, go ahead and click that link below and watch our 75 point battle report. All jacks, all day. It's going to be awesome. Your ticket covers the entire seat, but you only need the edge.